Hey everybody, it's Samantha. From your faith and passions to children and change, make sure you do not get married before asking your partner these 11 questions. Number 11, family beliefs and religion. Many relationships struggle because the people involved or their families have different beliefs. Two people can date for a long time without caring that they practice separate religions, but that could all change when they get married. So it's very important to ask your partner about their beliefs and how any religious differences will affect your relationship in the long run. If you get married, then will it become a problem? This is something you should find out early on to avoid issues in the future, especially if you plan on getting married. Plus, discussing it will make the wedding ceremony much easier because both families are bound to want different things. Another thing to ask your partner is how serious their family is about their spirituality and how accepting they are of other systems of belief. This is essential to figure out whether or not you'll get along with their relatives and vice versa. Of course, this isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but but knowing what you're getting into will prove very beneficial. Number 10, kids. One of the most significant questions to ask your partner is whether or not they want to have children. This is something that can split a relationship up if both parties don't agree because having kids is a huge decision. Plus, if one person wants a baby and the other doesn't, then one way or the other, somebody is going to end up unhappy. Asking your partner what their thoughts about children are is a tough question to get out of the way, but it's essential. However, keep in mind that people's feelings aren't always set in stone. It's possible not to have a strong yes or no answer. There are tons of people out there that either aren't sure or they have some wiggle room. They might not have wanted kids in previous relationships, but with you, they could be reconsidering. So don't freak out just yet. Asking these questions can be nothing but positive in the end for you and your significant other. Number nine, the spark. Something that a lot of married couples have to deal with is slowing down on the romantic front somewhere down the line. You often go from wanting to be all over the other person every minute of the day to needing some personal space and not being as physically intimate anymore. So it's a good idea to discuss how the two of you decide to keep the spark alive when you get married. But this goes for any long-term relationship, not only after you tie the knot. Plus, once you get to talking about it, there's a good chance your love life will become more exciting anyway. You can talk about trying new things or having a weekly date night. There are numerous options to keep things interesting, and it's best to speak freely about it before everything slows down. And if you do end up having kids, then you might not have as much alone time to talk about it later on. Number eight, dealing with crisis. Another more difficult topic to deal with is what you would do or how you would react in a traumatic event. If you're married, then there are going to be times when you have to deal with adverse situations, and sometimes these things are going to be extremely difficult. For instance, if your significant other is diagnosed with a severe illness, then it's important to stay supportive and be there for them. You vowed, in sickness and in health, after all. But it's a good idea to ask your partner before tying the knot how the two of you would handle this. It wouldn't necessarily be a medical issue, it could be anything. When shocking things happen, especially for the worse, it is very common to lose the ability to work through it calmly. So it's a great idea to have some sort of plan in place, even if it's just a basic one. Number seven, genetic illnesses. Another thing you should ask your partner before getting hitched is if they have any genetic illnesses that could be passed on to your children if you want them, that is. Some of the genetic disorders that can be inherited include achondroplasia, which causes dwarfism, Marfan syndrome, which causes heart defects and long limbs, and pancreatic problems, but there are many more. It's probably a good idea to discuss these things with your significant other and get tested if both of you aren't sure. However, it doesn't mean that getting married is a bad idea. There are numerous options regarding having children. The reason you should discuss it is simply so you're both aware of any problems that could arise in the future. By the way, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. Okay, now back to the video. Number six, private issues. Something else you'll probably want to discuss with your partner is how much either of you should be sharing with your family and friends. We all need people to talk to outside of our relationship, especially when we're having a disagreement with our partners. It always helps to get an outside perspective, but there could be some things that your significant other wouldn't be comfortable with you talking about with other people. For example, your girlfriend or boyfriend might not want you going into detail about your intimate life with your mom, so it's probably best to go over the things you talk about with your friends and family. It also isn't good to keep things bottled up. However, if your partner isn't willing to talk to you about your more intimate problems, then there are probably a lot of things to reconsider within your relationship before getting married. Number five, differences. This one encompasses a very large area. There are probably a ton of differences between you and your partner because you are two unique people. However, there are some things to think about regarding these contrasting characteristics. There could even be traits that don't bother you now that might pose an issue in the future. For example, if your partner doesn't put their clothes away after washing them, then you can become really sick of that later on. One of the biggest problems that comes with a marriage is expecting your partner to change. A lot of the time we'll think, well, once we get married, things will be different. Most of the time, however, this just isn't the case. When you tie the knot with somebody, you should expect them to remain exactly how they are. If they're frivolous spenders before, then they'll most likely stay that way. If they're messy, then they won't become tidy all of a sudden. This doesn't mean people can't change, but they don't usually switch up their ways in a day, and it usually isn't caused by another person. They have to want to do things differently for themselves. So keep that in mind before these things can cause significant rifts in a relationship down the line. This also applies to larger 
scale things. As we previously discussed, something to ask your partner is whether or not they want kids. If you really want children and they don't, then they aren't going to magically start wanting a baby after you get married. Number four, separate and together. Another great thing to talk about with your partner before marriage is how you'll grow as a couple. People tend to transform slightly as they get older. Your relationship will change throughout the years, just like you're probably different now than you were in high school. For example, you and your significant other might start out as party goers and adventure seekers, and eventually become homebodies. This is completely fine, as long as you both talk about what you're looking for in the long run regarding your relationship, then you'll both be happy. However, if one person wants to keep adventuring for their entire lifetime and the other doesn't, then that's going to be an issue. That being said, it's also important to talk about how the two of you want to grow independently. We should all remember that even though you're in a relationship, you're still two separate beings. There are going to be times where you want to pursue something and your partner doesn't. It's a good idea to talk about this before getting married because you want to make sure that your significant other won't get upset about the things you want for your life and vice versa. Most of the time, it won't be an issue. In fact, your partner should cheer you on and want you to follow your passions and hobbies. It's essential within a relationship that both people can still do things by themselves. Everybody needs time away from their partners. This can include pursuing hobbies or even just going out with friends. For a marriage to work, a couple needs to grow independently and together at the same time. Number three, major changes. As we previously discussed, you should ask your partner about how the two of you will handle big changes or events throughout your lives. But this doesn't only apply to adverse things, it applies to any significant life change. Let's say that you're married and your partner receives a job offer out of state. There's a chance that you wouldn't be willing to move. You might have to give up living near your family or have to change occupations, and it could end up causing major issues within your relationship. But if you've already talked about these things, then it won't be a surprise when it happens, and you'll both be able to reach a decision more easily. Plus, you don't want to hold your partner back from pursuing their career. If they're offered a promotion or you're unwilling to move or deal with the extra hours they need to spend at work, then they could harbor ill feelings toward you over it. Luckily, almost all of this can be sorted by speaking about it before the two of you tie the knot. Number two, balance. Balance is another major thing that can tear your relationship apart if it hasn't been discussed already. We'd all probably like it if our romantic lives and family lives were completely separate, but we all know that our parents have some choice things to say about our partners and vice versa. Unfortunately, we only have so much time, and it can be extremely difficult splitting the time up between your significant other, your family, and your friends. An example would be when the holidays roll around. You've decorated your own house, and you're looking forward to some alone time with your husband or wife, your kids, and or pets. But then all of a sudden, you start getting phone calls from your and your partner's parents. They both want to know when you're flying out and who you're going to spend Thanksgiving with, Christmas with, New Year's with, and every other holiday with. You start panicking because you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but you'd really just enjoy spending time at home. This can become a huge issue if you haven't talked about how you want to balance these special occasions with your partner and their family. They might have wanted to go to their parents' house for the holidays, and since you don't have a plan in place, you're not sure how to handle this disagreement. So remember to talk about how you want to split up the time between you and your significant other's family and friends, and still have time for the two of you. Number one, goals. Perhaps the most significant thing to discuss with your partner is both of your goals in life. We've touched on some of the things that fall into this category, including having children, growing and changing, and major events. The two of you can maintain differences concerning hobbies and passions, but overall you want to ask your significant other if their goals coincide with yours. It is fine for people to change as they get older and their relationship transforms over time, but there are things that can make people grow apart if they aren't talked about beforehand. One example would be if your life goal is to settle down, buy a house, and have kids, but your partner wants to spend their life exploring the world and experiencing new things. They don't want to live in one place forever. That is going to result in the downfall of your marriage. If you never have the things you want, then you'll be unhappy and vice versa. Unhappiness is something that can't be forgotten or overlooked. There are many obstacles relationships can overcome, and there will always be hurdles in any marriage. However, there are some things, like these life goals, that need to be talked about because they can very well end in divorce or an unfulfilled life. Today's featuring comment comes from Nita on our Truth About Kylie Jenner video. Thanks for the comment, Nita. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below and we might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.